excuse the awful angle that this camera is at right now but it is the 20 the 26th of april and i don't know if this is going to go anywhere but i thought i'd film it just in case i haven't actually felt baby girl move well i felt i move but nothing major for a couple of hours now so i've just gotten off the phone with triage and they said to lay on my left side hence the really bad angle because i'm laying on my left side and they said to have a cold drink which i've done and have something sugary so i'm just laying here now they said if she hasn't moved in another two hours time to give them a call and i'm assuming then that they will take me in and get her monitored and see if she is moving or anything um she's not an active baby but i was just laying here thinking i haven't actually felt her move in a while so like i said it might be nothing but i'll keep you guys updated as the night goes on sleep because we are going in to be induced at nine o'clock in the morning and before you say anything I know I should be sleeping and get my rest but I just cannot sleep so we a little background story hopefully you can hear me because I am whispering so yesterday afternoon I noticed I haven't been feeling baby move like she regularly would so then I went to the hospital and they got me all checked over and she was doing well but because that was my second reduced movement the past 30 weeks they said they don't want to risk it again and offered me an induction for today so at this point I'm sick of being pregnant so I said yes and the earliest or well, the only available slot they had today was nine o'clock so that is why we are being induced um they did do a stretch and sweep last night and said i was one centimeter dilated already but other than a few cramps overnight i haven't really had any like, effect from the stretch and sweep so that is what is going on so this morning there's a few things we need to do like before baby comes um like little things we need to get from the shop and last minute things I need to pack in my hospital bag. I did obviously have a home birth plan, which unfortunately isn't going to happen because I'm being induced. However, at this point, I'm just so excited to not be pregnant and so excited to meet my baby. Just having a pre-induction breakfast at half five in the morning because I can't sleep bit of a change of scenery we are now in the car on the way to the hospital we've just stopped at Zach's so that he can get a top because he hasn't actually got any clean clothes at mine so we just stopped to get that um it is now 8.06 so we should be in the hospital in about half hour I got toothpaste all around my mouth my skin has gone all crazy around my mouth as well um but yeah i'm so excited i cannot wait for this process to start and actually get her out so we are now at the hospital and don't mind me, I'm just getting my trousers back on. But I thought I'd let you guys know that I've just been examined and had all the monitoring done. So the plan was to see if I needed the pessary, 
which I don't. I'm one to two centimetres dilated, so they're gonna send me down to labour ward and break my water. It's quarter past five now, and I'm still waiting for the midwife. I've just been bouncing on the ball for about 45 minutes, um, and hopefully we'll get some updates soon. Because as soon as I got get to know anything, then Zach can come and I can go down to labour ward. So I don't know if you can hear me over the monitors, but it's a little bit of change of scenery. I'm in a different room. I now have my own room as they are going to break my waters in about 15 minutes time. So it is a different day now and a lot has happened. So I arrived yesterday at nine and they didn't have a midwife available. And then the delivery suite was really full, so they couldn't like, have me because there wasn't anyone to actually deliver the baby so they've just come and got me now and it's nearly 10 o'clock and they've hooked me up to the monitors so i'm just laying here getting them done they're going to come in about 15 minutes and break my waters and do all their checks that they need mum and zach are on their way because they couldn't stay obviously covid and visiting hours so I'm just here by myself at the moment, but they'll be here in about half hour. And then hopefully by this evening, we're gonna have a baby, which is so exciting. You can see her little, well, it's not zooming in, but you can see her little readings up there. And everything is all good at the moment. They said she is really low down, um, trying to fill her, so. Yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to just get it started. And I'll let you guys know more once I know more. I did also want to mention that I haven't actually told like anyone apart from my parents, well, and Bella, that I am in labor. So it's gonna be a shock to everyone. My plan is just to FaceTime everyone and show them my baby. And I'm so excited. I'm sitting in the bed, but I'm gonna show you a little tour of the room. So we got a toilet, there's a birthing pool in there, and then that's to take my blood pressure. And then I'm gonna move my feet. Little nurse's station, that's where they're gonna weigh her when she's born. And that's where she goes to get cleaned up. There's a little bed. All my bags, I've got so many bags. And then there's a little chair. And then the monitor. That does her heartbeat. Little update, it is now 10 to 11. I'm sitting on the birthing ball, bouncing away. Um, they've broken my waters about half an hour ago now, or 45 minutes ago. Um, I was hooked up to some monitors for a little while, but now we're just trying to get labour started. I'm trying to keep active. So I'm bouncing on the ball and then once mum and Zach get here, I think we're going to go for a walk and try and just get things rolling. Um, nothing really changed at the moment. I'm feeling cramps, but no, like, no contractions at the moment. Um, but hopefully they'll pick up soon because I don't want to have to have the drip. Like, preferably I'd want my body to try and do it itself, so... We'll see what happens. So another quick update, or long update, should I say, because a lot has happened. I am now hooked up to the drip. So I obviously got my waters broken. And it's now, I don't know, is it? two half two i can't see that but um i got them broken at about half ten and then they were gonna wait two hours but they said if i hadn't had any change that they'd want to put me on a drip um if i when they checked me so after 
like talking to them they decided that I was going to wait another two hours to see if anything had happened on my own so we walked around the hospital a couple times and my mum and Zach are here they've just gone out um, for a minute and they're going to be back in a minute um, so we went for a walk around the hospital to try and get some movement I was having little contractions nothing bad I'm still not having any like major contractions um, but I'm having them every like five minutes at the moment and they want to see four every ten minutes so I'm having two every ten minutes at the moment um, so they checked me and I was still two centimeters dilated but my cervix had thinned a lot more so there had been a change just not as much as they want and to be honest at this point I'd rather just get it over and done with and speed up the process so like I said I'm now on the drip um, there's two because I'm getting an antibiotic for having group B strep even though my last test was negative they're just gonna give me the antibiotic just in case but that is all the updates for now uh, I'll let you know once I, more has happened <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 